Um, I just want to read something that I read in a basic history book. Because since we're, we are increasing in knowledge, um, well, at, at least the keepers of the Torah anyway, uh, we are increasing in law, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Um, there are things we might read in a basic history book that could tell us a lot more um, when we look at it through the lens of these scriptures. Okay, the deadly work of the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, let's bring this out. Uh, being a Christian means you got to torture people, kill them, take their property, and divide it amongst yourselves, apparently. Because we have Queen Isabella, the athlete of Christ, right? Even says that, yeah, she's a pudding face and she had a graceless figure. But she was the athlete of Christ. The deadly work of the Spanish Inquisition. The, the infamous Inquisition began just before Columbus arrived in Spain. Earlier, Spain had been the model of a multiracial and multi-religious society. Technically, there, were, there was never a multi-racial society. It was multinational, but I don't want to digress. Jews returned Moors and foreigners were necessary to populate the vast lands reconquered from the Moors and provide commercial skills. But the Jews were passionately resented because they collected taxes and controlled all finances. To evade harsh measures taken against them, many Jews and Moors professed conversion to Christianity. The new faith of the so-called conversos, however, soon came under suspicion as a mockery of Christ. For this reason, the Pope was persuaded by Ferdinand and Isabella to allow the establishment of a tribunal to detect and punish false conversions, controlled by the monarchs, but operated by the church. The Inquisition soon inspired terror and revulsion throughout Europe, but not even the Pope could stop it. Denunciations were made in confidence. Trials were held in secret and victims had no right to cross-question their, their accusers. Confessions were extracted under torture and the guilty burned at the stake. Their properties shared equally between the accusers, the inquisitors, and the crown. Many Jews and conversos fled, thus paralyzing Spain's bureaucracy and crippling its uh, mercantile life. Their exodus left built businesses largely in the hands of the genios. Had Columbus himself been Jewish, as some historians have alleged, it is inconceivable in the light of the many enemies he had made after his discovery voyage that he would have escaped the clutches of the Inquisition. So, back in these times, Christopher Columbus, 1492, around that time period, this was happening, and it was happening to our people. They didn't call them Israelites, they called them Moors. At least they didn't call them black, but that's what we were known to the, uh, the enemy at that time and period. Moors professed conversions to Christianity, conversion to Christianity. Um... Yeah, those are Israelites. And they were... Uh, they, they're not depicted in these photos. I mean, these people don't look like us. But you have an idea of what the Moors look like. They can't hide the fact that there were Israelites during these times and dealing with these situations. All right, well, Shalom. Just uh, keep the, keeping this video short, short. You have a good night. Shalom. All praises to Yahweh who is Akkad.